On the morning of Saturday, February 3rd, more than 30 artists gathered at the Moose Tree Preserve, also known as the Orient Arts Center Studio, for the first ever 24-hour art challenge. Local artists Eugene Clark and Matt Faulkner pitched the idea to the Orient Arts Center board, and to their surprise, it was approved. Participants arrived at 10 a.m. on Saturday, and given the rules, each artist was assigned an image and a word that had to be incorporated into an 11 by 14 travel poster created using traditional media or rendered digitally. People are creating a, an original piece that's based off of prompts that Matt and I have set up uh, ahead of time. So the prompts lead them into uh, what we call a thought tree, a word tree, and they, they start to create a matrix of ideas which are going to then uh, expand into a world, and that world is a fictional world. So any story that people can recognize like Star Wars or Lord of the Rings, those are essentially those types of worlds that a human being like myself or yourself had to we they had to literally say okay who are all the characters where do they live you know how do they eat what do they dress you know what are their professions you know all those things so this essentially is giving people a chance in 24 hours to not only answer all that but create one piece of work that's going to feature all those things the following morning, the artists returned to the art studio to put the finishing touches on their work before the 10.30 a.m. deadline. Then each piece was displayed on an easel, laptop, or tablet for judging. I'm impressed, really. I'm 24 hours. Even yesterday, some of the people, when they were introducing themselves, they'd say, well, I'm not an artist yet. I'm still in high school. And clearly this work is work of all artists, so I'm really impressed with it. When the deadline passed, Clark and Faulkner began the unenviable task of judging the submitted works. They disappeared into a separate room to begin deliberations, then returned with the big announcement. Named winner of the inaugural 24-hour art challenge was Adriana Racine of Oxford, whose submission, Millstone City, netted her the $1,000 grand prize. She told us her grandmother, Judy, encouraged her to enter the contest and even paid the entry fee. So I did a mixed media piece, mostly watercolor, and uh, we were given two things as far as a word and an image goes, and I got a mortar pestle, which is a stone bowl used for thousands of years, um, used to grind grains, make powders, paste, whatever, and then my word was feckless, and I had never heard that word before, so I had to Google that dictionary. <laughs> And uh, it means spiritless or useless. So I was like, I don't even know. I worked on my concept for like three hours just trying to figure out like what I even wanted to have an idea about. So I made a, a culture where people, they take delight in grinding down their own moral values. So I wanted to create a piece with just lots of dimension and drama. And uh, I was really articulate with how I placed everything. My sketch was like took three hours alone, so which was really frustrating, and it was it was a roller coaster of emotions. But I had a lot of fun with the piece. The winning piece to me um, was the the faces in that were um, just transplendent to me. I, uh, I I couldn't take my eyes off of it. You know, um, the design of it, the idea was just uh, really potent. And the rendering, I mean, like I was saying before, it was both the idea and the rendering. So, but the, the uh, like the pathos of the characters was really, came out through the rendering and that, that's what's been important to me. There are so many communities that don't have an art center. Uh, I live in Oxford, which is very close, and we do not have an art center. So anyone that wants to do anything creative, like the programs that they offer, uh, we have to travel to Lake Orion, which is not a big deal for us, but there are a lot of outlying communities around Lake Orion uh, that do the same thing. So in this room today, we have people from a lot of outlying communities. To this community, Orion Art Center provides an opportunity for people right in their own hometown to be creative, to learn new processes of art making, or to just be exposed. Um, they put on the Dragon on the Lake Festival, which is a big fundraiser. That in and of itself is a way for people to dive in to how uh, an art center can really impact a community. 
The Orient Art Center is hoping to display all the submitted pieces for an upcoming exhibition. Meanwhile, the Art Center is teaming up with the Orient Township Public Library for the second annual Art of Storytelling exhibition. Participants are challenged to create a work of art based on the book Kitchens of the Great Midwest. The deadline to register is February 29th, and winners will be announced at a reception on March 7th. For more information or to register, visit orionartcenter.org. At the Moose Tree Preserve, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.